Good afternoon, Colin here with Arab Reviews, and this is going to be a um, demonstration of iMovie 11, the new um, updated version. Um, as you can see here, we have the purple icon. Um, we're going to go ahead and open it up, and you will see the video I just edited, uh, which is the video that was uploaded before this one. And uh, as soon as it opens, it's going to take a little bit longer because I'm recording the screen. Okay, so, um, as you can see, it looks very different. Um, we're just going to go ahead and put it in full screen real quick. Um, a couple things you'll notice is that there's nothing, there's no buttons right here like there were before. Um, like there were before, and this doesn't go up and down anymore. It goes sideways. So as you're working, you just go down the um, line in order instead of from top to bottom. Um, on here you have your transitions, which there's a bunch of um, new transitions that you can see. Um, and we have some new titles. Um, if you watch my latest video, you'll see this one. Um, how the letters fall in and then swing out. You can do different maps and backgrounds. Uh, like you've always been able to, you can change the location on that and it's going to apparently create a world map. Um, you have your sound effect library right here. Um, you can get to iTunes from there. And you can actually go to uh, all events and you can see all the events you have saved. Uh, theater, which is also um, in the cloud, so you can see all these in your... Um, on iCloud on your phone. Um, I don't add mine to the theater because I don't need to. Um, you have your share button. Um, you can share to all these different things or you can just save it as a regular file um, as you can see and you can use the tags um, tags feature and the description. I didn't add that. Uh, that was automatically added because of the title and there's your add to theater option right there. But say um, when you import content, you're going to have to hit create and then uh, movie or trailer, depending on what you want to do. And then it'll add it into something looking like this with that up there. And you drag the footage you want down here. And when you want to add a title, you just drag it from your title screen up here. And you just drag it right, you know, if you wanted a title uh, in the video like that, um, you can have that or you can drag it down before the video and have it right there and then you can drag your transitions um, in between different clips um, now if I didn't put that transition there um, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to be before it because I didn't delete it but you can see that goes away before it uh, transitions but with the transition there it actually um, the transition becomes part of the title and the title goes away after it transitions which is pretty cool um, so those are some of the new features you have with that um, to add a title you can't just click here anymore you click well you can but you click this T up here to uh, type and you have all your options up here um, and of course as always you can add pictures and stuff like that and um, I think you can use the green screen background still too by uh I don't know exactly how that's done yet. Um I haven't tried it, but I'm pretty sure it's just dragging just dragging what you want um behind it as always. So as you can see that replaced it. Um, I have to redo the uh, title, but that doesn't really matter because I'm not going to uh, save it or anything like that. But that is a demonstration of the new iMovie, um, iMovie 2011, uh, the newest update for Mavericks. Um, so check your app store to uh, update yours. Um, I think there's about 20 new uh, transitions and 20 new titles, um, but it is in the description on the app store. So check that out. 
This has been Apple Reviews. Thanks for watching.